Hello, this is Chiak. We are back again with another set of Broken Age, where, uh... Oopsies, let's not go through the weak spots. Well, maybe let's go through the weak spots. Maybe the weak spots is how we can get him out. No? So close. Okay. We're here? Maybe? This day cannot get any worse. Oh, what? What the? Ah! There you go. Sweet. <laughs> oh, hey, Vera. Would you mind dropping me off at the arcade? Okay. So now we can get. Now we can get that egg. Hello, 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 hello. Jesse, I got your egg. Now we can get that golden egg. So let's go up. All right. Hey girl, look what I got for you. Boy, is this thing heavy. Now, let me explain. I didn't take... Oh, Aww. hey, you're welcome. Wasn't anything, really. Okay, mother and child reunion. So let's head down. We're done with that air upper area, I'm gonna assume. Please place your offering into the bowls of enlightening. Whoa, careful there. That thing's heavy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're gonna leave that there. So now... Sorry. I cannot handle the donations directly. Please use the bowls. Okay, well, we're gonna go up. I can't remember what this guy may or may not want. Thanks for the help. See you later. Be okay. Right, child. Nothing there. Let's talk to, um, Chit and... I want my money back. You may take back any burden you wish, but it hurts you more than anybody. Oh, boy. Wait till I put all three eggs. <laughs> Wait till I put all three eggs. Oh, maybe the fruits for that bird. You guys want these golden eggs back? No, we like to keep them spruff. I'll see you two later. Farewell. Stick to the paths. Can't remember. I'm just double checking. How's it hanging? <laughs> well, want some fruit? Nah, not hungry. Also, I don't like fruit with pits. Okay, so, I don't know if there is a way to help that girl specifically. It's not going to go this way to avoid that weak spot in the cloud. Hey, anyone up there want some delicious fruit? At least I think it's delicious. Could be poisonous. Anyway, free fruit!
Man, that's a big pit. Oh, we just ate it. Damn it. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> okay. Oh. Aha. I was right. Turns out I am grateful for these shoes. Big deal, bird. Like I even need hooks now. Aha! Solid as a rock. Peekaboo. That's right. It's me, your worst nightmare. Hey, come back here and get your come up and on second thought, don't come back until you get some pants. Sweet. Okay. Let's head down. Okay, anything else we can talk to this girl about? Hi. So what's new out here? Are you making fun of me? Well, I'll leave you. Do you want your... Want your ladder back? Nah, keep it. I'm gonna use it later as an excuse for not dusting the upper nests. Smart. <laughs> okay. Hi, Barbie. Oh. Okay, so we're done with her, we're done with her. <laughs> you want the ladder? I should stop trying, but... Need help getting down? I've got a ladder. Okay, well, either way, we have got even a bigger ladder to bring down. Please place your offering into the bowls of enlightening. Mm hmm. Haven't you heard Harmony's teachings about lightness yet? Um, hang on. Before you get on that ladder, I need to think about this cloud's weight limits. Hmm. Bombs away! Hang on. Don't move. Bombs? Uh? Oh, no! My bones! Sorry. shiny the sun is. <gasps> oh boy. <laughs> huh. See, now I'm wondering if I'm going to need to grab the... That's the way back up. Hmm? Yeah, so... Ooh, I'm probably going to need to grab that peach again, I guess. But let's have a talk with this guy. Woodsville? Hi. Listen, this is I'm sorry. I didn't know you had feelings, okay? What? <laughs> um, okay. I forgive you. Oh, really? Great. Hey, who are you? My name's Bella. What's yours? I'm Curtis. Sorry, I thought you were a tree. Okay. Have you always talked to trees, Curtis? No. They only started talking recently. How can I cut down trees when they're screaming at me? I'm sorry, what? What are they screaming at you? All kinds of really personal insults, like really over the line type stuff. It's been rough. But the worst part is not having any wood to build stuff with. Maybe you shouldn't cut down trees then. But I'm a woodworker. If I can't cut down trees, where will I get my wood? Hmm. So you're a woodworker. Could you make me something? Like what? Something practical but unique. I've got just the thing. How about 
a nice three-legged stool. Hmm, yeah. I haven't done a stool in so long. Okay, make me a stool. I'd love to. If only I had some wood. Okay. Listen, about that big mess upstairs. Oh, did another tree fall on my roof? No, I fell out of the clouds and crashed into it a little. That's cool. I needed a little fresh air in here anyway. Been kind of cooped up for too long, you know? Will you help me kill Magchathra? Sorry, conscientious objector. But I'm not using my axe. You're welcome to it. Ooh, think I could kill Magchathra with that? Oh, well, <laughs> no. I really don't think anything could kill Magchathra. Catch you later, Curtis. Beware the trees! Okay, well, we can grab the axe. You using this axe? Not until those trees stop talking. Okay, then. Okay, there's a way out there. Hey, here's some wood. That wood is playing a vital security function where it is. Okay, so uh, he's been inside for quite some time. Nice. I feel like I should get to know that guy before I steal his art. <laughs> Bless this Please mess. don't tell the trees I'm in here, okay? And when you hit the main trail, head east. There is an extremely territorial snake in the other direction. Gotcha. Wait, east? Or was it west? Meh. Okay, so I don't know if that fruit meant anything, but... Hmm, this guy hasn't gotten mail in a while. Okay, then why is this thing up? <laughs> hmm, this guy hasn't gotten mail in a while. Put the flag down then, that means that there's no mail. <laughs> Okay, which one of you trees has been bugging Curtis? Hmm, they don't seem too chatty to me. Okay, now I see why the trees were freaking him out. I have a feeling I might regret this. Trees. She's got an axe! Run! She's a murderer! Okay, look. I'm getting rid of the axe, okay? Just stop screaming, please! Ow! My trunk! I'm losing sap! Murderer! I'm here on behalf of Curtis, the lumberjack. That homicidal psychopath? I once saw him hack an old lady to death. Wow. Really? Yes. A 300-year-old spruce, mining her own branches, then he comes along. And the next time I see her, she's a... Oh, God, if I say it, I think I might be sick. Say it. What did Curtis do to the old spruce? He... He butchered her. Turned her into a... A stool. Oh, oh God. I think I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. Please don't scream anymore. You can't silence me! I'm going to wake up this whole forest! Okay. Why are you so upset? I just can't stand by in silence while you murderous humans mutilate my brethren. It makes me sick. Are you magic? Can you help me kill Magchatra? Is that all you humans think about? Killing? You all make me want to puke. You got a little something in the corner of your mouth. Oh, that's just a little sap. I'm not ashamed. It's thick and natural, and I'm full of it. Yeah, you are. Hey, can I have some of your sap? You're just like the rest of them. You want to bleed us dry, steal all our thick, luscious, and incredibly useful fluids. You humans make me want to throw up. 
but I won't do it, because I refuse to give you the pleasure of my sap. Okay. I've never seen a talking tree before. Well, I've seen plenty of axe-wielding murderous humans, so get lost. I'll let you get back to your screaming. Yeah, please leave before I vomit, you foul, rootless stump. Hello, Shellman. Looks like Mob Chothra hasn't gotten here yet. Okay. I'm. Hmm. I'm gonna quickly see if I can go back up and get that peach. <laughs> Climb back all the way up. Because if I have to do some backtracking, I'd rather do it now rather than later. Yep, totally destroyed a lot of places. Hello? Okay. Let's get that. Give me some fruit. Dang. Nope, don't worry. We're just going to head down. Head down. Anytime now. Just let go down. What? Not there? I just realized her shoes are not on. Okay. Well, she didn't fall through the clouds yet, so... I consider myself lucky. Okay, let's head down. Okay. He's stuck up there. <laughs> okay. So let's go back to Shell Mound. Don't know what to do about these. So this, we got a bit of a bigger area to navigate, looks like. Waiting. Any time now. Let's go head to Shell Mound. What's this? Oh my god, what is that? Oh, driftwood. So smooth. Oh. Looking at this chum trough makes me really happy I grew up in a baking town instead of a fishing town. I just hope my baking town is still standing. These fishing poles are useless. All the hooks have been stolen. <laughs> what is happening? Excuse me, uh, Mayor? What? Mayor? Why did you say that? Uh... Because you look like a mayor. Hmm. I have to admit you're not the first person to tell me that. But alas, I am merely Maiden's Feast Marshal Dune. 
a humble man of the people for now. I just realized he has a bucket, a sand bucket on his head. Hey, about your bucket hat. What? What about it? Can I have it? Certainly not. It's an integral part of my soon-to-be mayor look. Hmm. So, you're running for mayor of Shellmound? My hopes and dreams. Just sand castles built too close to an angry sea. I had hopes, child, but this construction debacle under my marshalship has washed them all away. When is Mount Chakra supposed to get here? Any minute. So much to do. I need to enter the Maiden's Feast. Child, at this point, we may not even have a Maiden's Feast. Not that you have the right scent for it anyway. Don't smell like fish? Are you saying I smell bad? No, oh, heavens no, child. You smell like birthday cake and fluffy clouds. With a hint of fresh pine. But that's just not the sort of aroma that hooks the big fish. Talk to your grandmother. I'm sure she has a fragrance recipe she'll share with you. Oh boy. Did you say there might not be a Maiden's Feast? The sea? She is angry this day. I'm trying to build the offering arena, but the waves keep washing it away. There has to be a Maiden's Feast. I need to kill Mog Chathra. Yes, yes, we all want to fill Mog Chathra. But when he comes here and sees no offering arena, he might pass us by. Or worse. Okay. Why do you build the offering arena so close to the ocean? Uh, because that's where the sand is. Hey, about your bucket hat. What? What about it? It looks terrible on you. It might cost you the election. Please, whom am I to trust? My highly paid stylist? Or a girl wearing half a dress? Better okay. let you get back to the feast. Yes, yes. These maidens aren't going to serve up themselves. Nice and perfect bed. Now let's see if this one... We have one like that back home for making upside down cakes. Again, again, again. Where are you going? <laughs> Come on, Clarus, we're running out of time. Hi, you maidens getting ready for the maidens feast? Nice costumes. Thanks. Our dads made them. They're the best fishermen in the village, so they're pretty good at tying lures. We had to use every hook in town, but it was worth it. Hey, can I have some of that perfume? <laughs> That's not perfume. That's a proprietary luring compound known as Beast Hooker. It's irresistible to Mogs. Okay. I want to be in the Maiden's Beast. Of course you do, poor thing. But shell maidens are chosen only after a long period of qualifying events. Also, our dads are pretty powerful. Also, can I tell you something? Just as a friend. Oh my god, yes, just as a friend. You just don't smell right, girl. Oh, I'd want a friend to tell me that. Okay. Hey, can I have some of your beast hooker? That's better, but no, you can't. <laughs> Sorry. It's her secret sauce. Isn't somebody gonna miss those hooks? Not as much as they're gonna miss us. You're gonna make me cry, girl. Okay. You made him nervous? Yeah, nervous that Marshall Dune isn't gonna get the offering arena ready before Mog Chagra gets here. Oh, I can't believe our dad's donated so much to his campaign. How about just one little squirt? Sorry. If I'm not going to give any to my best friend, Drusilla, 
I'm certainly not going to give any to you. I said I don't want any. I don't use performance enhancers. Okay. Hey, maidens, I'm going to kill Mog Chathra. Ha! Not half as hard as I'm going to kill it. I'm already killing it in this outfit, just standing here. Don't you guys ever wonder if there's another way? To save the town, I mean. Um, this is how it's always been done. Yeah, they figured out how to do it a long time ago, so we wouldn't have to think about it. See you maidens later. Ciao! Okay. Oh boy. A sighted stranger approaches. Not so fast. Darn. All out of holy tear gas. Use the staff. Oh yeah. Halt. But the dead eye god sees no one. Who are you two? I am Dead Eye Dawn. And this is Demi Courtney. Hi. What is this place? The Dead Eye Pyramid. Tomb of the Dead Eye God. <laughs> As if you didn't know. Can I go inside? You wish to invade our holiest of shrines? Why? Uh, I don't know. It just looks cool. It does? We wouldn't know. We're blind. Oh, sorry. But no one enters the Dead Eye Pyramid. No one. Well, unless. What? Well, if she could solve the riddle of Yorn. Oh, yeah. If she could solve that, then she'd definitely be worthy. Shh. No problem. Okay. But you never... Who's the dead eye god? The messiah from the sky. Bringer of miracle objects. Someday he will rise to return our sight and begin the battle of Volgantol. Did your god bring any miracle objects that were like weapons? The kind that could take down a giant monster before it destroyed your home village? Our god had such power and more! Probably. I mean, really, we don't even know what half the stuff in there does. Okay. What's the Battle of Volgantol? The final battle between humans and mobs. The end of our entire age. Hmm, sounds promising. Okay. Did you say you lost your sight? Yes, that happens when you blind yourself. Oh. If the dead eye god has no need for sight, then neither do we. Huh. I like how their hoods come. Kind of, they make me think of the koi, except for those huge teeth there. Um, could you remind me how the riddle of Yorn goes one more time? You always take us down when we are in our prime. Devour your sweet rewards, yet I'll return in time. A child of mine will rise out of his rotten bed, up from a hidden pit long after I am dead. Well, Yeah. Bring us a solution and you may enter the pyramid. Can I go inside? You wish to invade our holiest of sh Okay. Because you guys are guarding it, so it must be cool. Oh, it is. Extremely cool. But no one enters the Dead Eye Pyramid. No one. Well, unless. What? Well. Okay, the riddle of Yorn. Hey, can I get you guys something? Like what? Uh... Maybe a refreshing beverage? No thanks. I've got a flask of barnacle juice under this robe. Diet's barnacle juice over here. Hey, can I get you guys some... Some more holy tear gas? Oh yeah! Here! 
Just fill that up for me if you could. Thanks. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Sense you later. Interesting. So. We have a whole bunch of stuff. It's all out of holy tear gas. Oh, trip up it. I can make mm, firm. I don't think Curtis will miss that. Just my size. Okay, well, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna quickly give Curtis. I'm gonna give Curtis this driftwood. What do you think of this driftwood? <laughs> Found some driftwood down by the beach. That's morbid. But at least it's natural and hasn't been perverted by you humans. So if I show him a stool out of this driftwood... Check it out! Non-talking wood. Oh, and it's so smooth. Oh, man. I feel a stool coming on. What? Oh, um, whew. That's a relief. Tell me about it. I feel ten times better. Thanks for helping me get that out of my system. I want you to have it. Really? Thanks. No problem. I like to spread my samples around. <laughs> Shall I go she checks her feet? <laughs> okay, so we got ourselves. You know, that Curtis looks like such a slacker, but he sure can bust out a solid stool. I don't see if there's anything else I, I can interact with here. That's it. Okay. So, one thing I want to check out before I end the set here is uh, we head east. But what about the huge snake to the west? What is this? Wait, is this east or west? Hey! Let go! Oh. I thought that corset was bad. I can't use my hands. I can't use my hands. I can't use my hands. Do not go that way. Got it. Okay. I just wanted to see. Either way, <laughs> thank you for liking if you like. Thank you for commenting if you commented. Thank you for subscribing if you subscribed. Thank you for favoriting if you favorited. Thank you for simply clicking on this video. Until next time, guys. See ya.